Hey, wonderful people. I really don't know where to start with this film. I was thinking of calling it Recalculating, or as my friend who did a film on British Rail called it, Mind the Gap. <laughs> anyway, it's a film about Britain's future global positioning. So the term GPS is the hoover, the sellotape of the sticky back plastic world. It is the generic name for sat-nav global positioning, but it's not. The whole GPS system is actually an American military controlled system. Other countries wanted their own sat-nav systems that didn't rely on the Americans. You have to understand that the whole GPS thing is totally controlled. And the Americans have ways of dithering or turning it off at any time to any part of the world if they so desire. And that's no good if you live in another country. So Russia built its own China has its own. And for the last few years, the EU has been building this, the Galileo system. Satellite positioning has become a vital part of our everyday lives and is a key for farming, science, precise timing and emergency response. We use it in our phones, cars, planes, trains, ships, and thousands of other applications. Initially, it was powered by an American system, GPS, or Global Positioning System. A few years later, a Russian system, GLONASS, was introduced. In 2016, Galileo, the European Global Navigation System, launched its initial services. So what is Galileo, and what makes it different from other constellations? Galileo is a European state-of-the-art system that provides highly accurate, guaranteed global positioning and super precise timing. Once fully deployed, Galileo will consist of 24 operational satellites and six in-orbit spares, 23,000 kilometers above the Earth, supported by a range of terrestrial sensor stations and control centers around the world. Galileo is autonomous, but also interoperable with existing satellite navigation systems and many devices combine two or three constellations to increase accuracy and reliability. While it can work with other systems, Galileo is unique. First of all, it's European and under civilian control. All other systems are operated by the military, so it provides Europe and European citizens with independence and sovereignty. Galileo also provides a range of new services, including search and rescue, PRS, a secure service for government applications and a more precise positioning for commercial applications. By offering dual frequencies as standard, Galileo will in fact deliver new levels of real-time positioning accuracy and substantially improve availability of the service under the most extreme circumstances. By deploying Galileo, Europe also minimizes the risk of other navigation systems being switched off or degraded. Galileo is the result of unprecedented European cooperation and innovation to offer people across the globe a new, reliable, independent civilian navigation and timing system that will power limitless applications. It's very expensive and it's been shared between different EU countries. France, Germany, Italy are very involved and Britain. But what you have to remember is that GPS, let's just call it GPS, is really a military piece of hardware. Okay, we have it in our cars, we have it in our drones, we probably even have it in our fridges, but the real use of GPS is to drop bombs on your enemy. So the EU wanted a system that could never be blocked by the Americans for their own defense structure. And the idea was it's going to be shared with all EU countries. Oh, you see where I'm going. 
the United Kingdom, of course, has decided to be no longer a part of the EU. So they no longer get to use the Galileo system. It's an enormous shame because Britain has invested millions of UK pounds into their contribution to make Galileo work. Plus, they actually built these. These are the Galileo ground stations, one on the Falklands Islands, of course, for South Atlantic use, and one on Ascension Island. Plus, British companies have built the PRS of the Galileo system. But if you're no longer part of the club, you don't get to use the squash court. But the United Kingdom has a very strong policy. A UK government spokesperson said, we have ambitions for space and we are developing a new space strategy to bring long-term strategic and commercial space benefits to the UK outside of being a member of the EU. Hmm. So what have they done? Well, they've decided to have their own GPS satellite system. Whoa. That's very ambitious and very expensive. So they decided to buy in shares in the OneWeb GPS system. Uh, hang on. This is unbelievable because you need to look at who OneWeb are. Since the beginning, the World Wide Web has never been worldwide. But in 2021, a new and truly global 5G ready network will fix that. They're a tiny company with great ambitions to launch a worldwide internet cube satellite system of hundreds of these low orbit satellites. They have various backers, including Richard Branson's Virgin Group. Mm. So after some successful launches, they managed to put about 30 of these cube satellites in low Earth orbit. They were proposing to put about 2,000 of them and then they went bankrupt. This will be a breakthrough year when OneWeb technology creates real human progress. Connecting everywhere, for everyone. So it seems like the British government have decided to invest in a bankrupt CubeSat company. They've got a few flying and none of them have GPS transmission capabilities. What's going on? And while digging around for this story, I found this wonderful tidbit that you're going to enjoy. Okay, so Galileo is a very much a European rival to the American GPS system, and America hates it. They see it as a definite rival. And in fact, although the EU have insisted that mobile phones in the EU will have to have a Galileo readable chip in them, if you currently can travel to the US with an EU phone with a Galileo chip in it, you're breaking the law. They are illegal to use in the US. That's how much they are feared and hated. And Galileo people know that. And they're particularly worried about the Americans blocking the incredibly weak signal from their clocks in space, because that's all GPS signals are. And so you would think that they'd work on a unique Galileo frequency to be a separate system. No. What ESA, the European Space Agency, and the Galileo program did is to use exactly the same frequency to send the data down to Earth as the Americans use for their GPS. Do you get how clever that is? So the Americans can't block Galileo without blocking their own GPS signals. Brilliant. The truth is out there. 